Welcome back to a very special episode of GNG News. So I went to Western Supermare the other day and I managed to get hold of a Kenobi Darth Vader official pop figure and this is from G3. So it is a bobblehead as well so I thought I'd unbox this for you today. It is 539, that is its edition number. Um, it's officially licensed. The good thing about these Star Wars ones is they actually come with their own little stands. So let me just show you all the different dimensions of the box before we open it up. And on the back it shows a couple of the different figures that are available to collect. There are several different ones that you can collect, but these are just some of them. So there's Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, Kowal, Rukun, there's uh, Talia, and Reva. If you want to find out more, you can go to www.starwars.com. And if you want to watch the series, if you've got Disney Plus, it's available over on Disney Plus. So, FAC number just by here. Also on the bottom, as you can see, it's batch identification. Oh wow. Lucasfilm, Funko, LOC, 2022, made in China. So this is two years old now. It's FAC number, as you can see. He definitely is a bobblehead. <laughs> um, and they have improved because previously you could detach these from the stands. But I actually did prefer where you could detach them from the stands. But as you can see, when you put him down, there's no issues with him standing up. Um, looks great. I like how they've also added like a red sort of tint to his eyes. Signifying, I believe, him being a Sith. Great detail for all the buttons on his suit. If I was to rate this one, I'd give this a solid 6 out of 10. Nice looking figure. Wish there was like a glow to maybe the lightsaber or maybe his eyes or something or whatever. But it is just a standard edition, but it is a very cool looking figure nonetheless. Rate this one out of 1 to 10. I've been GNG News. Thank you for watching another episode of GNG News. And let me know what was your favourite episode of Kenobi. May the Force be with you.